Salam Shadra. My name is Yappa Ken. I'm from Group 1. Today we'll present about the problem based learning 11, which is Haze. Our lecturer is Professor Madia Dr. No Haslina Binti Hashim. First, we come to introduction. Uh, this is a proper based learning in we got, which is to talk about the cases in lab one, which the patient cause of haste increased for about 40%. So first, what is haste? Haste is an atmospheric phenomenon where dust, smoke, and dry particles in the air obscure the sky's clarity from National Weather Service website is say that there are not much different in the appearance of haze and mist when the difference between air temperature and dew point is greater than 3 Fahrenheit or 1.7 degrees Celsius, the obscuration will call as haze. Haze can have bluish, bluish or brownish tint when seen from far and depending to the direction of view. So the we have got three sources of haze in here which is volcanic activity, windy weather and human practice. When the pocket and of activity it, it will release gas chemical gases such as sulfuric dioxide and some dust into the air which will call haze and then for windy weather the wind it will blow all the sand and in the uh, desert and and the what salt from the sea to all the air air for human practice the factory and the vehicle the smoke oh, were also causing in the haze so in this study we, we want to determine the source of haze determine impact of haze to environment and how to monitoring haze now, now i will pass to next presenter Assalamu alaikum doctor, my name is Aileen Sophia and I will explain problem statement. Firstly, is the uncontrolled fire outbreak across Indonesian forests which had caused smoke and haze to drift into neighboring countries like Malaysia and Singapore. The burnt forests also caused wildlife losing their habitat as well as they face changes in behavior experience extreme health effects and fertility failure due to long exposure of toxic air. Aside from animal, plants also having changes which they cannot or unable to do photosynthesizing process as usual because of the thick smoke which blocks the sunlight to do which blocks the sunlight that helps these plants to do their photosynthesizing process. And also, haze also affecting pollinators like bees and butterfly as they unable to do pollinating cycle due to less oxygen available or might be killed or less energetic as usual. Aside from environment, humans also facing suffer from haze like health effects, uh, for example, like eye irritations, nose discomfort like mucus, respiratory system, and inflammations of the lungs. These are the problem statements that has been found during our research of the haze. My name is Nur Shafika Azli and I will present for the literary, literature review. Um, I will explain about the source of haze, composition of haze, impacts of haze to the environment, and authority that are responsible for haze pollution. First, the source of haze. The particles that cause the haze phenomenon can originate from many sources, some of which are natural and some anthropogenic. 
Natural sources include the oceans, forests, and ground surface. Majority of the particulates are from human activities, which including open burning, forest fires, land clearing, vehicular emission combustion of fossil fuels in industrial boilers. Next is composition of haze. Haze is defined as a layer of smoke, dust, moisture, or vapor floating in the air that reduces visibility. Haze is generated by particulate matter discharged directly into the atmosphere, such as smoke, road dust, and other particles, as well as particulate matter formed when gases pollutants react in the atmosphere. Haze is, most, haze is mostly composed of very tiny particles with a diameter of less than 10 mm due to the unique emission properties of land and forest fires. Fine particles have the longest residence time in the atmosphere and travel great distance, while coarse particles flushes, flush out of the atmosphere in a few hours to a day. Impacts of haze to the environment Huge swaths of rainforests are destroyed by raging fires, which incinerate seedlings and saplings and wipe out seed viability in the soil seed bank. The particulates and chemicals in the haze affect plants' reproductive and photosynthesis capabilities. Smoky conditions also reduce the ability of insects to pollinate flowers. The carbon-based particles in the haze could dissolve into rainwater and lead to acid rain, which could fatally affect plant functions and damage entire ecosystems. The authority that is that is responsible for managing haze pollution is Department of Environment. The Environment Division had, had been upgraded to a department known as the Department of Environment on September 1, 1983. The DOE's primary purpose is to prevent, eradicate, regulate and improve pollution in accordance with the objective of the Environmental Quality Act of 1974 and its regulations. Moving on to our discussion. Firstly, haze is an atmospheric phenomenon that obscures the clarity of the sky. As haze is part of air pollutants, it contains elements like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ozone, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter. And prolonged exposure to high concentrations of particulates can be harmful to health as well as causing mammals to face extreme health problems affecting their behavior and communication and long-term impacts diminishing reproductive potential. As well as, pollinators also face a severe threatening by uh, threatening destroy habitat cycle as haze deteriorating their colonies. And lastly, haze also affects the human lung which the study indicated that there was a significant increase in respiratory and lung complaints. There is two solutions of the problems relating to haze. As haze is something that is not easy to curb, so there is a solution that can curb but cannot stop haze as it's moving through air. First solution is establishing a farming practice that does not rely on open burning. This is because most farmers or agricultures, they actually do slash and burns for the rainforest to renew the soil. And this had caused a mass open burning of the forest. So in order to avoid that, the farmers can use biomass as it has been identified as an alternative and renewable source of energy. This can reduce the mass open burning of the rainforest that cause thick smoke to drift, up to, to drift to the neighboring countries like Malaysia and Singapore. Our country also can stop doing slash and burn to avoid haze that had caused numerous amounts of problems. And the next one is implementing a regional ordinance. We can approve the Trust Boundary Haze Pollution Act so that uh, we can curb this problem. If whenever um, pollution happens uh, in our neighboring countries, we can use the enactment to help to stop or 
uh, to manage whatever illegal open burning that happens at our neighboring countries that is related to our countries. For example, like agriculture or farming that we also have share in them. So by using this act, we can manage the system and as well as curbing the problems of haze that had caused problems not only in uh, for environment as well as human's health. So uh, by, by having these solutions in hope that haze can be curbed and minimized. Hi, my name is Zuleika CN20103. I will conclude about haze. In conclusion, haze phenomena in Malaysia was man-made, which is caused by the illegal burning of forests and pit on Malaysia to clear space for local and foraging bed palm oil plantations. However, domestic factor, factors such as industry activities, motor motorcycles, and open burning will also contribute and make the haze situation worse. The haze has not doubt be given a serious health effect not only to our country but also to our neighbor country. The repeating episode of haze has caused the increasing health problem become unsolved and required more effort to manage this issue. This health effect has caused a significant health economy impact which include rise in hospital admission costs and medication incremental cost of Ill illness and extend to cost of medical related leave taken and lead to loss of income opportunity. As haze become annual occurrence, we should be ready in terms of our health facilities, staff and other resource management this health effect economy impact. Last but not least, the people and the government must work together to solve the problem of air pollution. Although it cannot be eliminated overnight, by which the cooperation of various parties' air pollution problems can be solved. We must think of the generations that we require environment give us a beautiful and comfortable for them to, la to live in these worlds and just treat the environment that has been created by God. That's all from our group. Thank you.